Have one is Lockhart QT, and do you recall Spyro the Dragon? You know, the charming, violet-hued, winged dragon known for his gathering jewels and breathing fire and collecting dragon eggs? Well, it's been a while since we last saw a fresh instalment in the Spyro series. And if you guys don't know, Spyro the Dragon is a really special series for me, purely for the fact that the original Spyro the Dragon was the first video game I ever played on my original PlayStation when I was a toddler, you know, three years old. So this game and this series is really special to me overall. However, the long wait in development, the fact that we haven't had a brand new Spyro game since 2018 with the Reignited trilogy, it seems that all of that is about to change as the developer Toys for Bob seems to be actively crafting a new addition to the Spyro series. As per a video released on March 27th by fellow YouTuber Canadian Guy A, if you guys don't know who he is, he is basically known as the Crash Bandicoot and Spyro Guy. He is widely recognised for his coverage on both series and he's usually quite reliable with his information. And according to him, Spyro 4 is currently in the works by Toys for Bob. So if you guys don't know, Spyro the Dragon used to be developed by Insomniac Games, the IP then got passed over to Activision, who didn't really do a lot with the franchise, they kind of tried to mix things up a bit, sort of like how they did with Crash, and then the series remained dormant for quite a long time with Skylanders. However, then you had Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, as well as Crash 4 that came out from Toys for Bob, and obviously Vicarious Visions doing the uh, insane trilogy of the remastered of the original three Crash Bandicoot games. Why is this important? Well, all of these talented developers, so Raven, Beanox, Vicarious Visions and Toys for Bob, who have all worked on Crash, Spyro and other Activision IPs such as to uh, Pro Skater for example, all got thrown into the Call of Duty Warzone mines. All of the developers essentially got shifted over to making skins and maps for Call of Duty. Which, according to internal sort of murmurs, I guess you could say, a lot of developers just weren't happy with this because they wanted to work on games like Crash and Spyro and Pro Skater. We do know that there was going to be a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 remake in development, however, that has seemingly been cancelled. I can probably see it being picked up in the future, but again, we have no idea where that currently is. So anyway, flash forward to modern day, Toys for Bob has now left Activision and they are now an independent developer, meaning that they still work with Activision on their IPs, however they own, you know, they basically make their own decisions. And according to a lot of sources, Spyro 4 is their next game in the works. And going back to Canadian Guy A asserting the validity of his claim from the outset of his nearly 10 minute long video which I'll have linked in the description below, he emphasised that this isn't speculation or hearsay but rather confirmed information. In his video he actually states, no theories, no conjectures based on evidence, no conspiracy theories or even vague hints he declared. Spyro 4 is in development, plain and simple. Canadian Guy A elaborated that during his attendance at PAX East, which is a gaming event that you can go to in person in America, held in Boston from March 21st to 24th, he caught wind of rumours regarding a brand new Spyro entry. Conversing with various individuals at the event, including creators, developers and journalists, he discovered that there were constant indications of Spyro making a comeback with a fourth game, a true fourth entry. Then on March 23rd, a post by Windows Central mentioned Toys for Bob's agreement with Microsoft for their next game, prompting Canadian Guy A to delve deeper into his sources for any information regarding Toys for Bob and Spyro. It was at this point that he claims that he received a confirmation about that the next Spyro game is actually in development, which makes me so happy. And like I said already, I, I just love Spyro the Dragon. I think that if they were to make a fourth game, I do have the, I guess like, faith that Toys for Bob will do a good job. I definitely think that Toys for Bob can make a true successor to, you know, Spyro 1, 2 and 3. And, you know, they've already proven it with Crash. Although Crash 4 isn't my favourite, purely for the fact that I think it's sort of, it's got way too much content and it's very brutally difficult at times. I loved Crash 4, I'm not going to lie to you, I thought that was a great entry in the Crash series and it's definitely a, a lot better than something like Activision made, you know, with um, obviously Wrath of Cortex for example. 
Hopefully Spyro 4 will be a good game and I definitely think that it, it will be if it's coming from Toys for Bob as they're going to probably pour all of their efforts, resources and love and care and attention into Spyro and getting it right. But in my opinion, as long as it's similar to the original first three games with maybe um, some new elements and modern elements brought in sort of like how they did for Crash 4, then this next game is going to be fantastic. Anyway everyone, thank you so much for watching the video today and tell me in the comments below what do you think about this information, do you think that Spyro 4 is definitely in development and do you think it will be good coming from Toys for Bob who previously worked on Skylanders and the Reignited trilogy as well as a few other things for Activision. Thank you so much for watching the video today and for more Spyro gaming and Toys for Bob content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.